Okay, everybody, let's recap the lesson. So today's lesson is a little bit difficult, but I'm going to do my very best to explain it to you, okay? So um, here's this family business. The Jacobson brothers own a business, and what they do is they do ghost tours. So they take a tour groups around the town on a bus to visit most the most notorious haunted spots throughout the city. So they charge $50 per tour, okay? Each summer, they book about 100 tours at that price, okay? Now, the brothers are considering decreasing the price per tour because they think that they will be able to make more money, okay, book more tours. They estimate that they will gain about 10 tours for every dollar decrease, okay? So, all right, all right, what we're going to do is this. If we lower our price, we should get more people. That's what it says. If we lower our price, we should get more people. But we got to be careful not to lower it too much because then we won't make any money, okay? All right, so let's take a look at that. So first of all, how much money do they currently make? Well, they currently make $50 for their 100 tours. So they currently make $5,000. That's their current price, okay? Now, here's the key to the whole thing. We're going to use X. X is the decrease. X is the decrease every $1 decrease. So we're going to let X be that. So we know, first of all, that revenue, to have revenue, is equal to my number of items times the price, okay? Number of items or number of tours, okay? So, first of all, it talks, talks for the number of tours. So the number of tours is 100 tours plus 10 more for every dollar you decrease. So every time you decrease a dollar, you get more tours, okay? So if you decrease by one, you get 10 more. Decrease by two, you get 10 more, okay? Now, the dollars, our um, price is $50, but we're going to decrease it by $1, right? So our price could be 50 minus however many dollars we decide to decrease it, okay? So since revenue is number of tours times the price, we're going to take our number of tours, which we said was 100 plus 10x, times our price, 50 minus an x, okay? So we've got number of tours minus price. Now remember, x is the discount, $1 per discount per price, okay? All right, so then I go to the other price, and I actually put it on Desmos, and when I put it on Desmos, I wound up getting a parab like this, okay? And so then I got my maximum point at 20 and 9,000. So you can put it on Desmos and you can take a look at it. Whoops, there you go. I can see it. Sorry about that. So I put it on Desmos and I graphed it. You can put yours on Desmos. And I got this parabola. Um, I have x-intercepts at negative 10 and 50, and I've got my maximum point at 29,000. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, first of all, the maximum then is 9,000 thousand dollars in my revenue okay so that's good I'll make nine thousand dollars if I reduce my cost by 20 so X is going to be a reduction in price it's not the price but the reduction in price okay so then we go down and talk about Katie so Katie thinks Katie's got it back she thinks that the cost should be 20 but she's wrong it's the reduction of 20 in fact the price should be thirty dollars because you take your price which is $50, and you subtract out your 20, your, your t reduction, which gives you a $30 reduction. And that's what Bryce has, and Bryce is correct, okay? Now, um, is is this a good idea? Is it a good idea to, to change it? Yes, because if you reduce your price, you're going to make $9,000 if you charge $30, okay? That's a good thing, yeah. I would say to adjust their price because they're going to make more money, okay? Um, key concepts, um, the x-intercepts at negative 10, 0, that doesn't make any sense because you're not going to have a, you're not going to add cost. And 50, 0 is not a good one either because that means you're going to discount by $50, which means basically you're not going to make any money. So zero income, okay? Uh, the y-intercept is 0, 50 because that's, at where they started, their original in income before they changed any price. Uh, it's increasing, decreasing. You can see from the graph, it increases up to 20. And then once they discount their price more than 20, <coughs> they end up losing money. So then it decreases from 20 to 50. Okay, that's all I have. If you have any questions on this, come see me. It was a little bit complicated. Um, hopefully I made it seem like it wasn't too bad. Okay, all right, stop there.